What do I want? What do I watch the whole thing? Okay, it's fifty like minutes. Only watch if it's decent content. I have no idea if it's any good. Last night was really funny. Promising, so though. I'll give it a try. I wasn't finished playing. Go back. I was jerking off. He is back. Oh Amazing. God. Amazing guy. <laughs> By the name of Destiny. Destiny is in the house. Uh, your real name is Stephen Bonell, right? It's usually what I go by. Yeah, but <laughs> known as Destiny. Thank you for coming back, man. Thanks for having me, Jesse. Thanks. And uh, Destiny is a gamer and a How streamer. is your day execution? You're going to have it memorized by now? Come on. I you know. Like four times. I know. What are you doing, I know. I've spoken with you. Like also, really speak giving... on politics and philosophy. Destiny, welcome back, man. Thanks for having me, man. How have you been? I've been doing great. Really? Been looking forward to our next meeting. <laughs> it's been too long, Jesse. I really appreciate you coming in. One thing I can say about you is that you're not like most beta males. You're not afraid to come in. <laughs> I like to be the most alpha of the beta males. That's my, that's my niche. <laughs> are you, so how old are you now? Uh, 31. And you're still playing games? I sure am. You're 31 years old and you still play games. Yep. How Why? are you, Jesse? Why are you playing games? Because I like playing video games. <laughs> Do your parents know about this? They know about it. It's how I make my money. Really? Oh, you make money playing games? Yep. So it's like a profession? Yeah, I'd say that, yeah. Oh, I see. Oh, so it's like a job. Yeah, it pays the bills. Yeah, I do it. I get paid for it. Oh, I see. So you're not some little beta guy sitting at home in mama's basement playing games? Nope. Amazing. I need to move this down. Amazing. Amazing. I can't see your face. For some reason, they didn't do it. Hold on a minute. Amazing. Let me get this mic for you. Okay. I tell them to do it right, but for some reason, you won't. It's hard to find good help, huh? It is. It is. Aww. It? It's great. I think I can see you. Let me see. Yeah, I Are see we good? you now. Okay. Is your mic okay? It's great. Oh, amazing! Oh, amazing. <laughs> so you're still playing games? I'm still playing games. And what else are you up to? Well, I talk about politics, I talk about philosophy, and I play video games. It's pretty much all I do. Yeah. And uh, are you a Christian? Definitely not. Oh, you're not a Christian? No. Are you an atheist? Yeah, I'd probably say that. You're an atheist. And what does that mean to be an atheist? It means I don't believe that there is, uh, I, I don't think, I don't believe in a God currently. You don't believe in God? I don't believe in God. Do you believe that God exists? Uh, he might, but if he does, I don't know if we could know about it. Oh, I understand. As long as you don't doubt that he exists, you'll be fine. Is that agnostic? I don't know if he exists. <laughs> I would doubt you if you said you know he exists. But, really? Yeah. No, he exists. Yeah? That's for sure. Did he tell you that? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Oh, yeah. So, I got to ask you this. Can't argue with um, that. I think I saw pictures of you traveling during the holidays or something like that. Dude, there's a lot of pictures of me on the internet. You could have seen a lot of stuff. <laughs> where, where, it has dick pics up somewhere, right? Where did you go for the holidays? <laughs> it means it's um, I, it, when? I don't know. I just see something here that says he's traveled during the holidays. I don't know what it means. Oh, well, it sounds like your producers need better notes. They sure do. I um, I, just most recently I've been to Austin is the most recent place I've been to. Oh, okay. Yeah, in Texas. Well, this is really recent. Mm -hmm. And I did see this, that you are now dating. Uh, yeah, I think I was the last time we spoke, no? I don't think so. Oh, oh shit, Melina. Yeah. Yeah. Has a picture. How long have you been dating? I think about a year now. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. And where did you get this girl from? Um, I just <laughs> found her on the street, you know? You just walk by, <laughs> see one, shut him up, take him home with you. Yeah. So you've been dating for a year and you just happen to run into her on the streets? Well, no, we met this online. Really we talked with each other. Then we met in another country, hung out for a little bit. And then now we're dating. Oh, so you met a girl online? Yeah. And from another country? Yeah. Is she over here now? Yep. She living here in this country? Uh, not yet. She can only visit. Oh, I see. And is she staying with you while in this country? Yep. Wow. That's amazing. That's amazing. <laughs> and what is that like? It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> in what way? Well, I mean, it's nice to have somebody to live with. It's nice to have somebody to do things with every day, somebody to take out of the house while I work, somebody to go out and have fun with, somebody to hang out with my friends with, somebody to talk to, somebody to, yeah, all the things you would normally do in a relationship, I'd imagine. <laughs> I always say that men who find women online are beta males. They're too <laughs> damn. They are not able to face women on their own, or they should not even look for a woman. Either that can a lot of it. It. online dating is the most common way, I believe, for partners to meet each other. So he's attacking a lot of people with this. Add it. What made you go online to get a woman? It's like ordering 
food online or something. What made you go online for a woman? Um, I mean, that's just how we happen to meet. I meet a lot of people in real life. I meet a lot of people online. Like, if I only restrict myself to people I meet on, uh, in real life, then there's a lot of people I might miss that live in other countries or something. I can't fly everywhere and see everybody, right? <laughs> and what country is she from? Uh, Sweden. Oh, really? In Sweden. Oh, amazing. Amazing. So, that's, I'm the kind of guy, I don't believe what I hear about people. I like to go to the person and ask them themselves if I want to know if it's that important to me. Do you want to know if I love black people again? Is that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a good question. Do you love black? I love black people, Jesse. <laughs> you love white people? I love white people, too. Do you love the Jews? I love all people, Jesse. I got love in my heart for everybody. How about the Jews? Of course. <laughs> Why okay. do you have to ask that so question? Is it true that... Wait, do we not like the Jews here now? I Jews? love the Jews. Oh, okay. That's but funny. I know there's some white guys <laughs> who have been misled by so the does Jews. So taught to hate the Jews. Yeah, yeah I see them on yeah, stage sometimes when I show up in... Uh... Yeah. <laughs> that's Hello. not good. Uh, yeah, please. Yeah, but, you know. Is it true that... Um, you let your girlfriend have sex with other men? <laughs> we are in an open relationship, meaning that we can be with other people if we want to, yeah. So is it true, I'm black and I'm slow. <laughs> is it true that you let your girlfriend have sex with other men? If he just answered to, it. If I want to, yeah, it depends on what's going on. <laughs> is it true that you let your girlfriend have sex with do other I, men? Do you just need a yes to that? Sure, yes. You do? Yeah. What is that like? I and mean, what does that mean? Yeah, that well, it's pretty cool for me because it means I get to have sex with other girls. So she uh, let you have sex with other girls yep and do you guys do it in front of each other not usually uh, no yeah, keep that so when you decide when she decides that she want to have sex with another man she says to you you know don't come home tonight i'm having sex with another guy no usually both of us go out <coughs> usually it's plans at the same night so we both go out we'll come back the next day so you say i'm going out tonight i'm sleeping with another girl but and i won't be home Something like that, yeah. So what's the purpose of having a girlfriend then if you're just going to have sex with other women? What's the purpose of having a girlfriend if she's just there for sex, Jesse? Oh! What else would she be there for? <laughs> is that the only thing a relationship <laughs> Oh, shit! Is That's so funny because Jesse's like, I sure caught you now. And then Jesse just throws that out there. Woo! Hits him with the sexism. <laughs> no, to, like... start, to get married and have a, start a family. Do you plan to marry her and start a family? Um, I don't know about the family yet, but... What, what does a relationship mean to you, Jesse? To get to know the woman. Uh -huh. Because I, if I wanted to have a family, to eventually, if once I meet the right woman, to marry her and start a family. Yeah, what about somebody you have there, like in the house, we're living with you, though? Is it just like a sex machine, or? <laughs> I, if I'm not married to her, I wouldn't have sex with her until married. Yeah, but if it's and like a wife, be, say, right? She you have... wouldn't be living in my house if Yeah, I'm but not if you, if you have a wife in your house, right. she's not there just for sex, the right? Fuck? No, she's there to... Watch over my children while I'm away. <laughs> She's not your friend or anything? You don't talk to her? You don't do anything with her? You don't... I mean, we hang out sometimes. Okay. But I gotta ask. Yeah. So what? <laughs> I just realized I would I love to see train wrecks be on this show. Having a girlfriend <laughs> if you guys are gonna be sleeping around with other people. For all the other things you have a girlfriend for. It's nice to have a companion around. Somebody to talk to. Somebody to hang out with. Somebody I'll to do stuff with. Make a phone call. Why would I want to make or a phone call? Or talk to the woman, other women that you're out there having sex with. I don't like those women as much, so I'm not dating them. Oh, so it's just for sex? Basically, yeah. And the girlfriend is for more than just sex? Yeah. Shut so what does that feel yourself. like when you know that your woman been out with someone else having sex? Well, it usually feels pretty good because I'm usually out having sex, so... <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. And I, I, I can't... I'm black and slow. I can't understand. Jesse, you might be slow, but it has nothing to do with you being black, I promise. You say so? <laughs> I don't think so. And so. Horthrax, thank you. I also heard that you have <laughs> had the slow. experience of having sex with other men. I love it. Maybe, man. We're going real deep here, aren't we? Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, apparently it's out there on the internet. There's somewhere. a lot of stuff out there on the internet, yeah. Did you say that? Yeah, I'd, I'm, I'd say I'm bisexual, yeah. So you have sex with men? Yeah, sometimes. First Amazing. of all, what's the purpose of putting that out there like that? Why let anyone know that if you did that? So I can come on here and have wonderful conversations about it with you, Jesse. <laughs> Nothing makes me more happy than talking about my sex life with a bunch of conservatives on the radio. <laughs> but what was the purpose of you letting it be known that you have your woman has sex with other men and you have sex with other women and men and she does too with other men? Why put that out there like that? Why did you tell anyone that? Um, I'm pretty open with everything that I do, and I think that people should be more comfortable with the things they do. So rather than keep things kind of hidden and pretend that I live a very traditional lifestyle, I like to talk about the non-traditional things I but do. But what good does it do other people 
to know that you're having sex with a man, how is that going to help them? Um, I don't know. Maybe if they see somebody that they look up to that is confident exactly. in what they do and is confident in what they talk about, maybe it gives them a little bit more confidence or makes them feel a little bit less ashamed or That's less you guys. about That's the things they do in their life. So you think that if there's a man or a woman who, who will have an issue with homosexuality or something like that, they hear that Destiny is having sex with a man, so yeah, let me go do it? Maybe, yeah. There's a lot of people <laughs> And maybe that, they can hook up with Destiny because they know that he's on the market. That don't have very many gay or bisexual role models. Um, you know, Pete Buttigieg. I'm, I'm sure Pete you've heard. Pete Buttigieg butt cheeks. Yeah, yep. um, yeah, I mean, a lot of people look up to that guy because he's gay. Um, I don't Stop know. It, some people <laughs> like to have those role models publicly, and I guess if I could serve as that for anybody, it would be a pretty flattering thing to do. Does your girlfriend know you may be at some guy house having sex with him that night when you're out? Well, if you know it, Jesse, what do you think? What does she think <laughs> about you having sex with guys? We're both bisexual, so neither of us oh, can. She has sex with women? Sometimes, yep. What a mess! <laughs> Amazing! <laughs> wow. Um, what made you go down this road? It's going to lead to destruction. It's going to lead? What kind of destruction? You're, you're not happy and you won't, you all of you get... I don't know. I feel worse. pretty happy right now, Jesse. It's not going to last, though. How long is it? What's the timetable? You'll see. Uh, you know, most see, normal uh, marriages end a divorce anyway, right? If it's already a 50 50 in normal marriages, I might as well take my chances, right? <laughs> but I just don't get. I know that, uh, you know, everybody goes through some things. Some people overcome and some don't, right? But I don't understand the purpose of letting other people know that you're having sex. First of all, out of wedlock, you you're now with a woman that has sex with men and, men and women, so you said. And now you're having sex with men and women. I don't understand the purpose of putting that out there because people are going to judge you. If you want to ask this question, Jesse, he should he should hear about the N-word debate. I wonder if that's going to come up. Uh, look down on you. He wants to make this argument. that it's okay would not respect you. I guess people can judge me for what I do. It will? But that's oh, pretty shit. easy for me to deal with. I'm a very public figure. I make a lot of money. I'm pretty insulated from most of life's problems, you know? Um, I think the people that get hurt by the most are people that get judged by that aren't in positions that are as good as me. So, you know, maybe if some of those people see that I can be open about it and it doesn't bother me as much, maybe it helps them get through it a little bit. But, I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, I can handle judgment. That's how I make my money. I'm online, you know, being judged constantly. People watch my videos. People watch my streams. Like, people want to judge me. That's fine. Amazing, man. <laughs> I almost feel for you. Oh, you're a nice guy. Thanks. So you I'll put that I mean? time stamped out. I want to. Well, I that. wish you well with that. I hope you're able to overcome that at some point. Okay. I hope you can overcome monogamy at some point. Just <laughs> <laughs> to know what that means. Do I still make you angry? Do does what make me angry? Do I make you angry? Make I, I don't think it make me angry. No. I don't make you angry anymore. No, I don't think so. Chad, did you always make? Did you make Chad, me angry? Chad, just because uh, this guy. I mean, we know that by now, but every time he, he ignores everything he's gonna say. And we get the part that he wants all the time, and it's just so triggering. I heard that I make you angry. It, it's annoying. Maybe frustrated. The last is a better time word. you were here, you said I make you angry. I think frustrated is a better word. And and why do I frustrate you? Um, sometimes getting the really heavy-handed yes or no questions, without any elaboration, can be a little bit brutal. But oh, I see. Beta. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> do you know you a beta male? I don't think I'm a beta male. Why do you think you are a beta male? I think the only beta males are the people that talk about alpha and beta males. You Ooh. don't seem to have a sense of self-control. Any man, any male that doesn't have self-control is a beta male. I got plenty of self-control. Not if you have a sex with men and women and living with a woman, not married. She having sex with men and women. That sounds like out of control to me. I think self-control has more to do than just only having sex with one person. I would hope that most people would measure their self-control and... <laughs> more than just how many people have sex with Jesse. Amazing. And one more thing I wrote down <laughs> so I can remember because I can't remember a lot of this stuff. Um, I don't know, but I've been told, and I don't care, I don't that know, you uh, were okay with saying the N-word while rapping. <laughs> Did I say that? That's what I'm told here. If white oh, people want to rap killing. along to a song in a car, yeah, I don't really care. This is you don't care? Good. I don't care. Uh, so if white people are riding along in a car and they want to say the N-word right <laughs> while rapping, you okay with that? I, if they want to. It's part of the song. I, I, I agree with you on that. <sighs> that scares me, Jesse. No, <laughs> no, I have to reconsider yeah. my position. I don't know if I should hold it anymore. <laughs> because black people don't care about the N-word. If they did, they would 
stop using it, they would get rid of it. Am I right? There are black people that care about it, even other black people using the N-word. So what? There are black people that don't like even other black people using the N-word. They are pretending. You think so? Oh, yeah. I don't think so. <laughs> they don't really care about their word. They're pretending. So. No, no. Why would they care about a word? I don't care about words. It's got a lot of history behind it. You do care about words. He We're is literally so bad. He is maybe the worst human being I've ever seen at putting himself in other people's shoes. Never before have I encountered a person who's zero empathy whatsoever. Talking words to each other right now, right? But I don't care about it. You don't care? Not, you don't no. care about any of this? You don't care about anything I say or anything you say? I don't care about Act. what people say because I know me and I know what's right. Mm -hmm. So I go with that. When people call me the N-word or Uncle Tom or oh whatever they call me, it doesn't move me because I love what's right with all my heart, soul, and might. And what they think doesn't matter. Okay. We, I think what other people think in society probably matters to a lot of people. Right? I got the cool... The Coon Train Award. <laughs> the you fuck? can't beat that. Who was that awarded from? I believe it came from what is the guy named? The black guy. Scam Train. Fucking Tariq what? Machine. Yeah, Tariq oh, Machine gave that me guy the is, yeah. Cool Award, right? Who is that? But I'm okay with. It. Who's that? I have no problem with it. Okay. I'm not. It doesn't He's matter protected. what people He's got think about the Cool Train. Does oh, it so bother cool. you what black people think about you? Uh, not me, but I think we live pretty insulated lives, right? Like we don't have to worry about as much what other people think about us. We don't deal with that as much in our personal lives. This I is very new. Every day. Yeah. People hate me because I'm a black conservative who yeah, loves. But you've got wife. a job. You got a little radio show. You got a YouTube channel. Not a like, little radio show. Little, sorry, <laughs> sorry. You're her, <laughs> I, I didn't like mean it like women. that. But like, you got a radio show. You're doing okay, right? <laughs> oh, all yeah. is well. Not everybody is doing okay. Right? And that's just but one that's more thing. But that's not a reason that, to care no. about what people think about you or say about you. He said he doesn't care what people think, but he got so mad that he called it so little. So yeah, but not everybody's a robot, Jesse. What do you mean? Not everybody can just not care what anybody in society thinks about them. Why should they care? Because other people's opinions about them impact their lives. Why? Well, because that guy might be in charge of hiring you for a job. He might be in charge of passing you for a class. He might be in charge of start stopping your you own in a job. Next time. Do you think everybody can do that? Just start Four their own If they wanted to. It's a lot of businesses. 300 million businesses in the United States need to be started right now. The greatest uh, country in the world. What do you think about the Great <laughs> White Hope at this point? Trump? Yes. The Great White Hope. Hoping he gets impeached in the Senate. Ooh, they're not going to be able to block the witnesses. Did you hear that? It's pretty not, scary. Uh oh. He ain't going nowhere. All of his old He's friends still are your flipping president. on him. Yeah, he is right and now. He knows that, and they've been trying to take him down from day one. Yeah, they have. It has not worked. Not yet. It's never going to work. Hopefully it does. You know why, right? Why is that? Because he is a straight white conservative <laughs> Christian man of power. I don't know if I'd say Christian. And but. he has no fear. Yeah, he's pretty fearless, yeah. Are you okay with the Democrats lying about the president? I don't think the Democrats have lied about the president. Are you okay with them lying? <laughs> At first they said Russian collusion, Russia, Russia, Russia. Now they're saying uh, Ukraine, Ukraine, Ukraine. They're a bunch of liars. They have nothing. Are you okay with that? I guess we'll see how the Senate impeachment trial goes. Uh, amazing. So you amazing. are okay with the Democrats lying, right? I'm okay with the Democrats talking about been released to the press so far what's come out in testimony about the ukraine stuff yeah. not are you happy with what the president has done so far to make the country great again a little bit he hasn't done much so i'm pretty happy about that he hasn't done much <laughs> yeah. huh? and what are you happy about that he has done um, what has he done to make you happy i think he did like a like a small prison reform thing supposedly pretty good but otherwise i don't know it doesn't seem like he's done much good tariffs have been disasters fighting over fighting for the wall has been a nightmare the wall. Um, I don't think that seven country ban made us any safer. Huh? Uh, Amazing. How you doing? Good. Just checking up on you, mate. Thanks, man. Cool. Maids are here. Yeah. Um. Do I just do it in here? Yeah. Fine. Yeah. Have you done that before? Yeah. Just check it. All right. Yeah, I don't know. So Stop you are gaming, bitch. the tax cuts for the wealthy, all the deficit spending, pretty bad. Amazing. So the one thing that you are happy about is I don't agree with letting no, 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 prison. No. All right. No, 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 keep Dan's gaming. Go ahead. Keep being upset that my friend came in and, and wanted to talk to me. Go ahead. Go ahead, Chad. I'll, I'll wait.
I still, y'all still, I'll wait. I swear to God, I'll wait. I feel like I'm punishing a child. Truly, that's how I feel at the moment. We'll continue. Prison out of having people out of that's prison. The one thing you don't like. Huh? I don't like that. Yeah. Because look how crime going up again, and people are coming out and recommitting and crime. Is the that crime. Like, crime is half of what it was in the nineties. I think we're okay. No. We need to get these. We need to get more. these marijuana smokers out of jail, Jesse. We gotta stop <laughs> wasting money on them. It's our taxpayer True. money is going to lock some dude up that smokes dope. That's crazy. Do you smoke pot? Didn't yeah. Destiny you vote for pot? Trump? I do too. Yep. No. What a messed up no, life. No, Destiny did not vote for. Destiny voted Hillary. Amazing. 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 I live a fully Amazing. productive life. I get got here just fine. Drove here just fine. I haven't gotten any car accidents. Haven't left my job. Haven't turned into a degenerate. Do you have peace? I'd say so, yeah. You, and what is peace? What is peace? I wake up every day. I feel good. I feel calm. I feel happy with myself. I'm happy to get along with my day. Amazing. What's peace to you, Jesse? Uh, uh, peace is... Um Oh, yeah. Before he answers that, I, I think I should clarify. I'm pretty sure Destiny hates Hillary. The only thing is that he hates Trump even more. So he was kind of out of options. It can come from God and it, and it doesn't come from the world. So it's like being in the world, but not need in the world, not of it. Okay. So you know a little I mean? Buddhist, but okay. I don't know about Buddha, okay. but I know about God. I want to take some calls for you. Just don't vote. Right? Sounds great. You ready for I'm looking forward <laughs> oh, to it. I can't wait. Oh, no, you, you, you got longer hair or something too, right? Yeah, you I thought different. about cutting it, but I've been lazy. So the yeah. Hobbit look. <laughs> <laughs> have you met yeah. Nick, my um, producer? Yeah, I must have. Yeah. Nick, come here for a minute. You got to meet Nick. One of the smartest producer on this kind of heaven. This is Nick. What do you think of Bernie? Oh, yeah. This is Destiny. I mean, you should ask him. First time today. Oh, I think yeah. Bernie is too left leaning. Does he look Mexican? What? For Destiny. Uh, he could be, maybe. Oh, he's talking about Destiny. Okay. I thought he was talking about Destiny. Uh, not particularly, is he? I, I don't see that. Oh, uh, do come I? on over. What do I look like? Does he look Mexican? What, what the fuck? Why would he ask <laughs> that? <laughs> You're putting me on the spot, Jesse. I don't know. <laughs> Does he look Mexican? He come from that country where they make drugs all the time. <laughs> Which one? Which one? There's a lot of them. <laughs> would you look Cuban? <laughs> Are you Cuban? Half, yeah. Really? How you he knew that and you didn't, Jesse? No, so you just look white to me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's go to Vanessa out of Las Ooh. Vegas. A girl. Oh. A Welcome female here. girl. I'm going to show you all with destiny. Hi. How's it going? All is well, Vanessa. Oh, How are you? Oh, I'm good. So I have a question for Destiny. Uh, I heard uh, several times when you, whenever you were on the show with Jesse, you mentioned uh, briefly that you're, you used to be either conservative or uh, Republican. I'm not sure which, but I never heard what policies on the right you used to agree with. I'm, I'm curious about that. Um, I used to be adamantly anti-abortion. I used to be incredibly pro-war. Um, I used to be in favor of downsizing the government in as many ways possible, so reducing spending, like the Department of Education, getting rid of things like the EPA. Pro war. Um, I used to be against most forms of economic regulation, so again, like the EPA or things like minimum wage. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think pr in pretty much every standard Republican position, anything that Bush would have talked about, I think I pretty much would have gone into. Okay, I have a follow-up question because I'm really curious. Why are you suddenly pro-choice? Like. What happened to you? Why are you gay? Um, that's a <laughs> I didn't mean that really like that. complicated question that deals with the nature of existence, and I, I don't. Um, I, I guess like the short, the short, the long. Oh uh, man, that's a really hard one. The the way that mm -hmm. I see it is it basically. I, I, um, I think you should answer that because it's a, a hard question. It, it kind of matters. Sure. So if we talk about the experiences that we'd say are worth protecting, I think that most of those experiences would have to be conscious experiences. So once a person is dead, they no longer have a conscious experience. We obviously don't. So try to save dead people, right? We bury them in the ground. Um, as for fetuses, if they don't have the necessary brain development to even have a conscious experience, it seems, it seems kind of weird to talk about um, preserving that experience when there isn't one happening there. But what made you decide to go down that road? Um, a lot of thought. There's a lot of philosophy that goes behind what, what is a conscious experience? When are we having a conscious experience? Is a conscious experience worth defending? Hi, Dr. Uh, it's a really, it's a really heavy question. 
But I, I think that pragmatically, though, I think that however you feel about abortion in, in terms of whether or not it's right or wrong or where you define like the start of life or the start of an experience worth protecting, um, it, it's so personal and it's so hard to give an absolute answer that I'm uncomfortable um, telling other people, imposing on other people my view of whether or not they can or cannot embrace um, a certain idea related to abortion because it's such a it's such a deeply personal thing. I would be uncomfortable telling somebody else you're not allowed to engage in, in it's got very you know, serious. An, an abortion or whatever. I don't think that's you don't have to tell them they're not allowed to, but you can agree. You can let them know that it's wrong, that it's evil. To, I wouldn't say that it's <laughs> wrong. I'd say we have I, an abortion. It's I think evil. we should reduce the amount of abortions it's in the United States. Definitely wrong. Yeah, I, I'm going to say that also. A lot of women who aren't of their uh, father Satan would not agree with you that their child is growing inside them is not conscious. Right. But well, I mean, they would just that, be wrong. I'm, not, I'm sorry. Uh, alive and 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 can feel like you you can put an ice pack on the side of the belly and th the child will swim away from it or, or they'll, they'll press their hand That's not up what against conscience means. the wall and um get to touch their mother's hand yeah, whenever she places her hand on her belly sure but a child doesn't do that when it's what? 30 cells right a child doesn't do that when it's 100 cells True. this takes some American. level of of natal development like it has to grow it's a, a miracle of well, life it's like, well it's, it's, it's not a miracle Miracle, it's, it's just biology. Right? But you are aware that <laughs> you know Florida. what it's going to become. It's, it's, it's a it's a little drop of, of love and potential. Yeah, but we don't protect what something is going to become, right? We're looking at something that exists as it is right now. But you are aware that yeah, children in the mother's womb are aware of the mother, right? Um, like past a certain yes, age, yeah. I think it's three, aware somewhere between mother. three to six months, yeah. So uh, uh, even when Andrea, even when it's the prime like the size of a pea. It, it it can suffer whenever the mother is is sad or angry. Sure, but we're looking at whether or not it has a, a, a conscious experience is basically what we're looking for, right? These are the, typically the things that we talk I about. I think if something can react to emotion, it, it definitely has uh, a conscious get off the show. experience. Well, what, would you say that of all animals, or would you say that of plants that react to sunlight? I mean, of course not. Oh, definitely, definitely, plants can experience fear. I uh, don't think that's true. <laughs> and they, they have uh, communication. I don't know if you, you've heard this, but they have the uh, club, an intelligent buddy. network in their room. <laughs> Lots of things are prime. Other plants, like, hey, you know, there's like something else encroaching on our space. Oh, my and God. And they use uh, fungi to lose. transmit. Sure. Pl plants have really primitive ways of communicating with each other, but they don't possess the central nervous system required to exhibit an emotion like fear. We wouldn't say that. Thank you, Vanessa. <laughs> uh, we, uh, appreciate that. See, open even JLP is done with her shit. Open in the treasure chest right now. It's open. The treasure chest. We're going to get to your super chat. How does this make and you feel, Mr. NYMN? In a minute. I want to go to Dimitri. Uh, Dimitri, a uh, first time caller out of Brooklyn. Let me. Let me ask real fast. What is uh, Dimitri Raimondo? Uh, what did you tell me? A man mean? has yeah. obligation of being right. These heavy questions. <laughs> I'd say a man is somebody that has principles that he believes in, things that he stands up for. A guy that takes care of his business, takes care of his friends and family, um, tries to stay true to his principles. That's what I'd say. And so, are you Beta. a man? I'd say so. Yeah. Uh, are you becoming more manly or less manly? What the fuck. <laughs> I, I think the amount of manliness I have is pretty consistent from all points of my life. Yeah, because all this stuff you're getting into is less manly. It's like you're becoming more female-like rather than male-like. I find yeah. that the least masculine people tend to be the ones that obsess over the masculinity of other people. I sure. find that a lot of people that have this obsessive, like, alpha-beta-male dichotomy is kind of weird. Whoa, whoa, like he's attacking T1 here. Are the ones that are projecting most of their insecurities, just and so that's why you becoming less manly. I'm becoming less manly. I think I'm plenty manly enough for what I do. Amazing. Um, let me go to Dimitri, a first time call out of Brooklyn, New York. Dimitri, you're on the air. Thanks for calling. Hey, what's good, boys? Thank you for having me. Oh. Yes. Um, hi, Destiny. I'm a huge fan of yours. I've been watching your videos since your debate with John Tron. Okay. With who? Um, Another who? gamer guy. With, oh, yes. Yeah, it's a gamer yeah. guy, white supremacist. Right. Um, white supremacist. Right. No, um, sir, yeah. <laughs> my question to Destiny No, sir, C as a white supremacist. There is, but go ahead. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what the? There, there are. <laughs> no, no, no. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, my question would be how I do you hear that discussion. about persuading people to see things 
um, your way. Well, I don't... Uh, not really your way, but, like, hmm? persuade people to a better conclusion on certain issues like trans or abortion and whatnot. By getting them to <laughs> know themselves? Because once you start, once you know yourself, you start to see the world and understand the world around you. The problem is most people don't, don't know people, themselves. They just take on whatever someone else says or what they throw up on them, and they're not paying attention to what's really going on. You have to know yourself. This is a random thing I just noticed, but I'm pretty sure he's using the same microphones as Pokey and Mizkif use. Well, because if you know notice, it means you people with degrees and these oh, so-called academia and all that, they're all dumb beard. people. They have a degree, but they don't know up from down. They're dumb. Is it right? I don't think that's how that works. Um, you, you don't think how what works? You asked me how do I do it? <laughs> oh, oh no, that was a question for Destiny. <laughs> oh, for Destiny. I'm sorry. How do you do it, Destiny? <laughs> no. How do you get people to believe Yo, crap? I think, um, I, uh, frighteningly enough, there's a part of what Jesse said that I believe in, that you have to make people understand why they believe the things that they do. And then once they understand why they believe those things, usually, or hopefully, you can kind of, like, talk them out of certain things that they believe. So, for instance, some people believe in this crazy idea that some men are alphas and some men are others. <laughs> you find out why they believe that thing, maybe it's a little easier to persuade them out of it. Well, I don't want to talk them out of it. Either they see it for themselves or they don't. I just say, okay, if you don't see it, suffer and die. That's a pretty defeatist way yeah. of looking at things. <laughs> I don't know. I host a show well, kind of similar to this where we talk a lot of to, to a lot of different people. I hope that some of them would be persuaded by what I say. I want some of them to see my point of view and not just be well, stuck. I, in their ways. Let well, Dimitri speak. I used to have a lot of, I wanted to say conservative views about certain things, but mm -hmm. it was very critical on black people, LGBT people, especially trans people. And Are you a I trans person? No, <laughs> I'm a cis male. You a cis male? I'm a cis, a cis, yeah, I'm a cisgender. How did you become person. a shit male? <laughs> I mean, cis male. <laughs> what? Well, I identify with the gender I was assigned at birth. That you were what? <laughs> that I was assigned to at birth. Oh, so you are a male. Mm -hmm. What's a cis male? So. <laughs> We have two words. You have cis or you have trans. So cisgender, we would say, are people that like, if you're born with a penis and you feel like you're a man, that you're a male. So a real a male is a cis male, and a trans male is one that pretended to be a male. A cis male is somebody that doesn't identify with the genitals they have, or the genitals they have, and then a trans person is somebody that doesn't, or there are other things that fall under trans Oh, well. so you're a real man. You're not a trans person. Dimitri. Um, I don't think there's a such thing as a real man. You don't? I think that's very vague. Do no. you think there's such thing as a real woman? No. Oh, I what think the concept of men and I, I think the concept oh, of men and women is something that's really vague. And it really just boils down to identity. And where did you get that idea from? Uh-oh. Well, I get that idea from the people that I know, the people that I live with. Did you get it from Destiny? From... I'm sorry? Did you get that from Destiny? No, it's one of those things Damn. that I solved for myself. There's a lot of people out there that express themselves differently from one this another. So it's radio, really yeah. hard to come to a definitive conclusion of what a man or a woman is. No, it's not. It's clear. You can tell a man and you can tell what a woman is. So did Destiny influence you? Has he influenced you in any way at all? Yeah, I'd say a lot of um, Destiny's views kind of did influence me in a way. Give me that one thing that he, had, that he was able to change your mind about. Good question. Um, well, there's, a, like I said, a wide variety of different issues that I used to be very Wrap it up, ignorant Dimitri. about I came to listening to Like yeah. what? Give me one thing. Uh, what? Um. Uh huh. Put him on the spot there, Justin. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Whenever you ask somebody to give you one example, it's hard to but, come up with one. But I think the most significant one for me would be helping me understand the oppression of black people in America. Black people are not oppressed. Yeah, oh, God. One. Oh, man. Oh, no. You picked the wrong one. Now the tables have turned, Jesse. Are you black? Yeah. Yeah, I am. You black? Mm-hmm. 
And are you oppressed? Um, I would say yeah. I mean, there's a lot of things in what America in a, that affects black people more. What in America you cannot do? The white people are trying to prevent you from doing. Ask a cop for directions. I'm getting shot at. Um, yeah, ask a cop <laughs> That's for not directions. True. How about open carry um, or having a pistol with you when you get pulled over at a traffic stop? That's liberal. No. Mess. Yeah, that's a liberal. How about mess. going to work and being persecuted for a crime just for going to work? That's what happened that to you. A lot. That's what happened to you. No, but it does happen to a lot of black people. Only to the criminal black blacks. Men. What about so that fun? college professor that got arrested for breaking into his own house? Thank you, Demetri. I appreciate that. I got <laughs> Carton is out of Salt Lake City, Utah. Carton, you're always <laughs> destiny. Thanks for calling. Hey, um, I kind of have a question for both of you guys. Yes, sir. Um, would gotta you run. guys, if you had a daughter, I don't know if you have kids, Jesse. Yes, I, I do. You do. Yeah. Um, would either of you, if you had a daughter, would you let them date a black man? I hope Jesse says What do you say? Yeah, of course, yeah. What the fuck? Yeah, of course. What kind of question is that? Okay. I was just but, like, so funny if Jesse said paint? no. Hopefully they don't eat any lead paint. <laughs> I don't know. That would be, be my hope. What is he oh, talking about? I, I, don't I don't know. know. Maybe he likes eating lead paint. Thank you, Carter. I appreciate it. I have no <laughs> idea. Sounds like he had a little bit too much lead paint. <laughs> yeah. Super Chaz and Nila. Fuck. I don't know what he's talking about. Hi, Rebecca. Are these your fans that are calling? Sometimes, yeah. They're probably all trying to get in and say dumb stuff. Oh. They are, Wait, really are, we to, are we allowed to swear on this? They're re no. Okay. They are really representing Let you well. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead, Joe. Yeah. Asmador is responding to Destiny. This is for Destiny. Asmador with the diamond. Be real. She's the only one getting extra. What? Speaking of your relationship. What do you say? Uh, Some people think that in the relationship that I have with my girlfriend that she's the only one that sleeps with other people <laughs> and I just stay home and cry all day. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Oh, uh, God. I feel funny. like that. Another one from Ultraviolet Romance with the Diamond. Does he still want to genocide half the country? Do you? I don't think so, no. Have you wanted that at one time? Not that I can remember. I'm sure. What is this, a Thanos reference? At some point in my life I have. Depends on what game I'm playing at the moment, I guess. Oh, all right. Violent, I'm feeling. Okay. Another question for Destiny. Brandon M. with the diamond. Do Nick and Destiny go to the same hairstylist? <laughs> I don't think Nick's hair was quite as messy as mine. Now. I've seen it like that before. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. You know, Asmodora with the diamond asks, Destiny, um, what does he think about therapeutic child porn? <laughs> Holy shit. Sounds kind of weird. Sounds like the guy's looking for something. You might want to refer to that one to the uh, FBI. <laughs> what the okay. fuck? Um, and that's Why are they guess. reading these questions? Destiny. Okay. Yeah. You want me to read the other ones? Yes. Oh, okay. Um, Mega Mortis with the Ninja Gini JLP handled the beta radio station with pure logic. Those women did not want to hear or listen. Beta females. As the door. <laughs> uh, I was on a black show. They invited me on and they hung up on me. They could <laughs> handle it. Three women. Do you think women are strong? Some can be, yeah. You ever seen a strong woman? Yeah, of course. The one you live with? Yeah. You, oh, so she's stronger than you? That's why you let her do all that mess? I wouldn't say she's stronger than me. It doesn't have to be a competition. Everything doesn't have to be a competition. Why do you let her do that? Because I like to do it, too. Oh, okay. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, Amazon. Amazing. 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 Can I interview you and her at the same time one, one day? If you really want to, sure. Yes. Okay. All right. Yes. Streamlab. Oh, my God. Cribe dough. What are your thoughts on the law of attraction? What are your thoughts? It's for you, Jesse. I don't, uh, I don't have time to get into that because I'm looking at the clock. But at, <laughs> remind me tomorrow. I do want to respond to that. Uh, William, do, William donated on Streamlab. Hey, Jesse, can you wish uh, hey, happy birthday to my good Portuguese friend, Anthony? He's a huge fan of you. It would be a huge gift. Anthony! This song is for you. Happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday to ya. Happy, happy birthday. birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> What's his name? Anthony. Anthony. Portuguese. And many, 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 many. Hola, si, si, yo, mamma mia. Hoy. 
<laughs> I have to see him do it again. I'm sorry. Uh, happy birthday to my good Portuguese friend, Anthony. He's a huge fan of you. It would be a huge gift. Anthony, this song is for you. Oh, yeah, watch Destiny. Happy birthday to ya. <laughs> happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. What's his name? Anthony. Anthony. Portuguese. And mini, 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 mini. Hola, si, senor. Mama mia. Hold your wallet more. Happy birthday. Uh, Pariah777 with the diamond. Was that Portuguese? Uh, for life with the diamond. Mullet, mullet bear with what? the ninja guinea. Destiny lives in uncertainty, so how can you have <laughs> not Portuguese. conviction at all? Living on a guest. Living on a guest. Nice guy. You live it on a guess, you know. I have a, I have a lot of certainty in my life, I think. What do you do about when you feel insecure within yourself, when when you're alone and you feel that emptiness? How do you deal with that? I don't that? normally feel emptiness. I don't feel insecure either. I feel oh, you feel it? So. I don't think so. Oh, I, think I, would, I think I would know. Oh, yeah? I okay. think I'd know better than you would, yeah. When all I right. Short clip when for I'm after old. this is over, Nyam. All right. I am sure all the men in chat will enjoy it. Nice. Smile, hugs, and kisses, handsome. Thank you. I'm all alone. You were attacked for, as it says here, you were attacked for bashing this, uh, this insane woman, uh, Cortez. Who? Right? Oh, yeah, AOC. Who? I don't think like she's insane. What's, What's her name? name? Um, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. What a nutcase, huh? Um, how, were, you, were you bashed for, uh, I don't her? know. I, I disagree with some of the things that she says about economics. I think her heart's in the right place, huh? And did people attack you for that? Yeah, sometimes. She's got a big fan base. And how did you handle that? Um, I try to How do you have walk anyway? through the things that I disagree with and explain why I disagree with them. Will you still disagree with her publicly? Yeah, I. Well, if we're talking about it now, it's because you've heard about me. I'll be on your own show, do you? Yeah, of course, yeah. Okay. I don't think she's shorts. crazy, though, Jesse. So wrong with that the same woman. Way why is it the lights are on, but nobody's home. Why do you say she Isn't she like 28? She's in Congress? She. It's a pretty good accomplishment, right? She's a nutcase. I don't think. Well, my word, she's a nutcase. All these crazy she, ideas like, she has. She diminishes and like kind of um, oversimplifies problems with like overly simple solutions, almost for like credit and shit. And it's just kind of like, okay, dude. Crazy man. idea. Like and she's not an honest woman. Kind of man. She's well, just wait, what's one crazy idea? And you live with a boyfriend. Can you imagine living with her? Thank you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Check yes, yeah. uh, <laughs> me and with the diamond. Checkmate. JLP is the man. Keep up the good work. D Live, shout out, shout out to people on D Live. Truckers for Life, Dark Side the Bear, what? Silosopher. Wait, they're streaming this on D Live? The fucking stream platform that only PewDiePie uses? For Asmodor, Brandon M, CC, Elevated Mind, oh, shout out to the top contributors, Ultraviolet. Let me make sure I'm getting it right. Ultraviolet something. I'm sorry, I'm gonna go back and again. I gotta, Jimmy DM. I gotta really soak this whole video in. I gotta hear him do his little speech again that just kinda dumbfounded everyone and made zero sense. Let's see this. Be on your own so. show, do you do? Yeah, of course, oh, yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. I don't think she's crazy though, Josie. What's up wrong with that woman? What do you why do you say that? The lights are on, but nobody's home. Why do you say she isn't she like twenty eight? She's in Congress. She she's a pretty good accomplishment, right? I went too far she's back. She's in that case. Though. I don't think. Why you my, say my that? word, she's a, all these crazy ideas she like has. What crazy and, idea? And she's not an honest woman, and she well, just wait. What's one crazy? Idea and she, she live has? with a boyfriend. Can you imagine living with her? Thank you. What? Yes. <laughs> you didn't answer my question, yes, Jesse. Uh, Armenian Groiper with the diamond. JLP is the man. Keep up the good work. D Live, <laughs> shout out, shout out to what? the people on D Live. Truckers for life. Dark side of the bear. What? Silosopher. <laughs> Asmodor, Brandon M, CC, Elevated Mind, Amazing. shout out to the top contributors, Ultraviolet, let me make sure I'm getting that right, Ultraviolet something, and Jimmy DM and Mega Mortis, we have the treasure chest that we open on D-Live, shout out to the Take a nice Lux good followers, chest. Elevated Space. Mind, Brandon M, Dark Side of the Bear, What, Sean Breed, Mandy714, Y'all are all amazing. Oh, they stream on a bunch of platforms at once. Amazing. Thank you all amazing. so much, all right? So Don't forget to like, follow, share, and sorry, and ring my bell. And we are being shadow banned, so you got to go and look for it nowadays. What? Um, the Jesse Lee Peterson Show.
Wait, Re- they're shadow banned on which platform? Rebuildingtheman.com. Where's Maniac? Thank you for 21 months. TV. As a matter of fact, we have a brand new episode of the Fallen State.tv coming out this Friday. I, I want to just show you the teaser. Next time oh, no. on the Fallen State. Are you afraid to be called white nationalist? <laughs> My producer is Nick, an uh, anchor baby. <laughs> Anchor baby! I can neither confirm nor deny these allegations. <laughs> What's important to you, Dave? Well, work and fun. Dang, I'm white. <laughs> Have you ever call a racist? Yeah. And a race trader by Latino. Illegals will tell me that they're illegal, no problem. But they don't know. They don't know you're legal. That, that I would call ice. Oh, they should. <laughs> <laughs> you lied about it. Jesus, Jesse. Right? Nope. Oh, oh my God! You, know, you don't have it. No, you can reach me at uh, anchorbabiesforyou.com. <laughs> okay. His I want to right introduce there. the Father State audience to my radio uh, uh, show. That's the busy sexting while listening. Crew. The Fallen State TV. Did he just? Did he just look away? Why? Hold on. How did he do that? What did he do? He just looked away from his phone, but continued to type. Do people do that? Introduce the Father State audience to my radio. Uh, no, I can't uh, do that. Show crew. The Fallen I've never State done that. TV, uh, brand new I do that with a regular keyboard. I can't do it on my phone. That's crazy. Am I a boomer? I need a tactile feedback, or I don't know where the fuck the, I'm at. Uh, brand new episode coming out. Auto correct. Right. What do you think yeah. about Nick saying that he would call ice on the illegal? I've never illness? tried it. Maybe it's I would be able to. Too. Why? Why would you call ice on somebody? It's because they're here illegally. Because they're breaking the law in your country. Okay. Are you for the wall? No. Going up? I think it's really stupid. Really? Are you for the wall in Israel? I, that, I don't know. It's a way different situation. What's a different situation? It's a different situation is they have enemies on their border. They're lobbing rockets at them on a daily basis. I think it's a lot different. We have enemies on our borders too. Bringing in drugs and bringing drugs and crimes and killing American You're citizens. You're absolutely right. I agree with you. We uh, should get rid of the war on drugs, Jesse. And the, we uh, take so much money away from them. Legalize the drug pot. laws. You don't consider the drug laws on the border of Mexico and America as enemies of our country? Who are the enemies of our country? The, the drug, drug laws. laws? People that I, I, the drug laws are the enemies of our country right now. I agree. Yes. The I'm drug ma- laws. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Amazing. Ma- Let me go to. Uh, is it Why Dante? Why watching this? It's funny. A uh, first time caller out of North Carolina. Uh-oh. Dante, you're on the air. Go ahead. Ah, oh, it's beautiful to be here. Thank uh, you. First of all, I just want to say, long time fan of Destiny. Keep up the beautiful content, man. Thanks. Lord. And. Uh, Jesse, I have a question for you. Yes, sir. So, you don't believe in racism, correct? There's no such thing as racism, sexism, <laughs> homophobism, <laughs> Islamophobism, Debbie Dadism, or white supremacism. It Amazing. doesn't exist. It's a made up lie to control the weak. Okay, well, what do you call it when there are those who go around and talk about how those of other races are lesser than them or even not you? Repeat that. What do you call it when uh, there are people who go around and express the belief that those who are a different color than them are less than human? Those are evil people. Those people hate. That's... There's good and evil. No such thing as racism. It's, our battle is not a physical battle. It's a spiritual battle. Why is he against between... the idea of putting a label on it? This is just convenience. Between right and wrong, good versus evil. Would you say all those isms are fake? Yes. What about atheism? They are made up. Well, supposedly atheism is a gotcha, Jesse. not belief in you God, right? Fun of me for but those isms are made yeah. up. There are people who don't believe in God. Yeah, but but there are people who believe people that white don't. people are superior to black people. No, only the ones who are angry believe that. But they believe no, it, no right? no human being is superior to another. You only believe that if you're in a fallen state, you have anger. Yeah, but wouldn't it be nice if we you had feel, words to call those so people? And you feel so insecure <laughs> sure. that you compare others, you compare yourself to others to feel better about it. Yeah, but like, so let's say we had a group of people that believe that men are better than women, a group of people that believe that Mexicans are better than black people. Wouldn't it be good to have words to label these people? No, like, men, it's called evil. Men are not evil? better than women. Men are above women. Their role is Racism to lead the woman to the right cat- way to go. Is a category but of evil. Bad. Isn't this the well, shit they do in uh, 1984? They gradually remove words from the vocabulary so people have a harder time expressing themselves and whenever something's wrong, they can't call it out anymore because they don't have the, the words to use. 
all the line at the top from of God. Trees. It just says some, every group of people evil. But those so who have not been born again are of their dad is Satan. Okay. And so they have an evil nature. Anyone who has anger is evil because there's no, because there's no love in anger. And anger. Are you guys angry? Thank you, Dante. I'm, 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 I'm drawing this in paint. I swear, this is how I think his brain works. Okay, he's got you got you got the top of the tree here, right? Doesn't matter. You got good, and you got evil. Okay, it doesn't matter what's down here. That's a bunch of stuff is down here, and then you got like racism as a category, and it goes it branches out, branches out, bra everything branches out. He just draws the line right here because it requires too much IQ. To go any farther past good and evil. Anything past it, uh, this doesn't exist. You're either good or evil. Like, n none of the bottom. Like, yeah, yeah. I appreciate it. Ron is a uh, first time caller out of uh, <laughs> Jenga. Ron, welcome to the show. You're on the air. Jenga? Hi, uh, hi Uncle Jesse. Yes. So, um, actually, I think I've, I've, I might have called once or twice. Oh, he has uh, first. So you're not a first time yeah, caller, but but this is very important. What's that? You're not a first time caller. Well, so I've called. Uh, no, I've, I've called a couple of times. Oh, Nick put first time caller for some reason. I don't know why, but oh, go okay. ahead, Ron, real fast. Uh, yeah. So yeah, I think this is very important. So my question for Destiny is, um, so I'm just trying to get. I'm just trying to comprehend. Um, how someone could be so down on the president? So he mentioned the tariffs specifically. Mm -hmm. So my question for him is, well, how can he say the tariffs are bad? Uh, when in reality, how dare so I you? guess, so I guess in the world of uh, CNN and MSLSD, yeah. wait, MSDNC, I'm sorry, MSNBC, it all gets so convoluted. So I guess in the world of corrupt news and all this other that it's bad, but in reality, it's brought China to the table. Now we're making deals. Got phase one, phase two is coming up very soon, and I think phase three will be completed uh, probably before his first term. So he's going to go into his second term rocking and rolling. And um, and uh, but I can attest to it uh, that it's work. So we uh, we, so we have products. What do you do products for work? To be made in China, Taiwan are now being made in U.S. What and do you, it's better and it's healthier. What do you do for work? So I mean, I I just think it's <laughs> insane and it's about to sign These are U.S. Real um, Never mind that. He said that the taxes went to the rich. That is so false. I'm not rich. I'm not in millionaire status, not yet. But I can attest to it once again, Uncle Jesse, and uh, to Destiny, uh, that the tax cuts uh, help everyone. How do you respond to Ron? What, what, what does he do for work? What type of work you do, Ron? Oh, so, uh, yes, yeah, so, so, uh, so we have a small business. Uh, does he have to ask questions through Jesse? Does he only reply to alpha males? Yeah, so you don't business. recognize so he has uh, a small it's, business. It's what do you say about that? Drink. I'm just curious what he does for work. That he thinks the tariffs have been good because the tariffs for the people that have been affected by him. I come from the Midwest. Agriculture has taken a huge hit in revenue from the tariffs that have happened uh, across Nebraska and Iowa. I know my state, Nebraska, was hit really hard by those tariffs. And I know that a lot of the manufacturing but, guys, firms those that Trump promised to protect None of those. Because I can't, I can't, I can't follow through. But the tariffs, the tariffs. Those jobs came back. They just got automated. They just went to robots instead of robots in Mexico making them. Now we have robots in America. Guys, I, I didn't hear anything that just happened. I need to. I'm, I'm replay Andy. I'm sorry. I, I got to go back. I didn't hear it. I didn't hear it. It's coming up very soon, and I think phase three will be completed, uh, probably before his first term. So he's going to go into his second term rocking and rolling, and. Um, and, uh, but I can attest to it, uh, that it's work. So we, uh, we, so we have products. What do you do products for work? To be made in China. I heard this part. Did he ever answer this question? What and do you, it's what, better and it's healthier. What do you do for work? So, I mean, I, I just think it's insane. And he's about to sign USMCA. And, um, and he, he said that the taxes went to the rich. That is so false. I'm not rich. I'm not in millionaire status. Not yet. But I can attest to it once again, Uncle Jesse. And uh, to Destiny, uh, that the tax cuts uh, help everyone. How do you respond to Ron? What, what, what does he do for work? What type of work you do, Ron? Oh, so, uh, yes, yeah, so, so, uh, so we have a small business. Um, yeah, we have so a small you don't business. recognize so just say he has uh, a small it's, business. It's what do you say about that? Drink. I'm just curious what he does for Certain work. That he thinks the made. tariffs have been good 
because the tariffs for the people that have been affected by them, I come from the Midwest, agriculture has taken a huge hit in revenue from the tariffs that have happened uh, across Nebraska and Iowa. I know my state, Nebraska, was hit really hard by those tariffs. And I know that a lot of the manufacturing firms that Trump promised to protect, none of those jobs came back. They just got automated. They just went to robots. Instead of robots in Mexico making them, now we have robots in America making them. Um, the idea that just because we make something in America, it's better than something that's made in China is absolutely hilariously stupid. It's, it's just not real. It's not but true. you do know that some will suffer when you're making things I right. You do recognize that, right? So, what do you mean by making things Some right? Some people are going to suffer. The president is correcting things. The president's that not correcting happened. it. We, we're never getting. Thank you, Ron. We're never getting manufacturing jobs back. Those jobs just aren't coming. It's a, it's a new day. It's a new age. Just like how we have um, machines that do work now that people don't do by hand anymore. Well, now we're getting machines that make cars and and other types of uh, equipment that people aren't going to make oh, again. It's just never going to change. And One this, day, um, it's going to be robot Di streamer. Dana, Miss Danny out of Niagara Falls. Miss Danny, you're on with Justin. Welcome to the show. What? Hi, Jesse. How are Did you? Did he just say you're on with Justin? Did he say, Miss Daddy, you're on with Justin? It's cool, but even cooler is human urine. This guy doesn't even know what planet he's on at this point. All this well. I Dustin. called last month. We had the conversation. Hello? Oh man, I think she, she waited a while and she dropped. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she one. dropped. She talked to you last month too, Jesse. You remember yeah, what you talked yeah. to her about? <laughs> no, I don't. Never ask a black man if you remember. Oh God. You know what that is? The only That's thing, racism, Jesse. The only thing black people remember to do, not all but most, there's one thing they do remember. The only thing black people remember to do, not all but most, there's one thing they do remember to do. What's that? Hate white people. Nice. Is that racism? That's hatred. But it's not racism. Uh-uh. It's evil. Okay. Most black people hate white people. <laughs> okay. For no reason at all. Really? Except they've been lied to. Bob, go to guy out of Los Angeles. You're on with Destiny. <laughs> Thank you, Jesse. Great, great. Well, I don't great know what to show. say anymore. Thank you. Uh, Destiny, quick question. Yeah, if it up? was a matter of life and death, and you had to give up sex and gaming, what would you do with yourself? I'd probably work on something in industry, maybe doing partnership managing, maybe something with computers or technology, maybe something with... And then once you stopped doing that work and you went home to yourself, uh -oh. what would you do without sex in games? Drugs. I would play music. It's one of my big hobbies. I really enjoy it. I have a piano and I go so saxophone. You would try to drown out your, your, your um, lack of being able to have sex in games with music. I'm not have drowning out anything. What do you mean? Well, have you tried that? I enjoy sex and games. Why would I get rid of it for no reason? Yeah. <laughs> Have you just tried it to see if you're, if you like, need it or if it's just a choice? It's. I, I mean, I there have been periods in my life where I haven't played games and I haven't had sex. But I mean, if I'm able to do it and it doesn't have a detrimental. Well, before you were before you were of age. <laughs> Bob, good thing I got This guy is desperate trying to put him in some kind of a trap, and this is not working Bob, out. We're running out of time. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, thank, thank you, you, sir. Destiny, how can people well, get no, your show doing? and all the things you're doing? They can find me at YouTube.com/destiny. They can find me at Instagram.com/destiny. They can find me at Twitch.tv. It's pretty crazy Amazing. you got all of those you're on. The hate report is coming up at the top of this hour, folks, right after this show. Thank you all. Um, what do you think about the liberals that will not debate me? They are afraid. I know that you come on. You When we invite you, you do come. But the liberals are afraid to. What do you think about that? There are some liberals who are afraid to. It's a pretty frustrating conversation sometimes. Oh, amazing. <laughs> Beta males and females. <laughs> we got to bring you on with your Got him. Yeah, anytime you want. Maybe on the fallen state TV. That would be good because we're definitely both in a fallen state. So that's what really you're <laughs> Thank you, Jesse. Thanks for having me on. I appreciate it. That was fun. That bailout was paid back with interest, dipshit. Drop. It never gets old, did The beta. Beta male, beta female. XQC, hi, hi, XQC, hey, yo, XQC, this will be a pog stream. XQC, L, 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 XQC,